hundred years ago, this old building was a boiler room. Now it's got a bunch of old cars in it, old Mustangs and Fords. Man, the hey, big life in the big city, huh? That's Lewis Lucans. This is his place, and inside are his cars. Uh -huh. And that's Michael Lightburn. Well, I guess my car's safe. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anything's safe here, is it? Michael and I are both from Texas, and we'd flown into Ohio to look at a one-owner 1969 Z28 Camaro, this white car you see here. It's also on the channel, so you can watch that video. But we're in Elyria, Ohio, and about an hour away is Cleveland, so we remember Lewis Lucans has this 69 Super Cobra Jet, I'd already done a story in 2015 for my Rare Finds column in Mustang Monthly on this very car. Of course, back then, Lewis just sent me pictures, so this was my first time to see the car in person. So Michael and I did our howdy-do's here, and that's uh, Dave, one of Lewis's friends. So here we go. We're in the shop. I'm anxious to see the Super Cobra Jet, but who knows what else you might find in here. He's... Lewis has been collecting for a long time, and first car there on Lewis's walking pass is a, not just a Torino, it's a, got the Ranchero body style with a little pickup bed in the back. I didn't see a big block in it. We didn't get into that too much, and then there was a white Fox body sitting there. That's what Lewis really likes, his Fox body Mustangs. There's another one undercover, and then a, a little bit later, than a fox body right there but here's the rare find that we wanted to see the super cobra jet what's so interesting about this now he's had it several years but when he found it there was an ad in in a local uh publication for a 302 cobra jet so lewis goes out there and looks at it and of course there's no such thing as a 302 cobra jet but he looks at the engine code the fifth digit and sees the r for 428 cobra jet ram air and then he looks at the axle codes and various other things to see it's a really a super cobra jet but the car's in pretty bad shape and the original drivetrain is gone but that gum is hot as a super cobra jet is with a four speed this car is one of those special promotion 69 sports groups that ford put together for the ohio sales district to look like a factory drag team car east coast ford factory drag team cars were painted blue with white stripes and the going thing logo while the West Coast team factory drag cars were painted the reverse, white with a blue stripe and the Going Thing logo. Here's a restored 1969 The Going Thing Mustang that Charles Crouch, seen here in 2014, bought brand new in 1969 when he was 21 years old. Ford built 109 of these cars and just 22 were 428 Cobra Jets as seen here. One of the ways it fell on the uh uh, super bumper jets is they uh, had to relocate the horns to make room for the oil cooler. And when I popped the hood and saw the relocated horns, I knew there was a bit more going on there. Uh, the two horns down here? Yeah. They're so, together. Where would they be normally? Um, I believe this horn would actually be on the other side, and then there would be a jumper wire that actually comes across. And it's to make room. You could tell where the oil cooler bracket was and where the die cut holes are for the, the hoses. Um, so I knew there was a bit more going on even at that time. However, I did not know um, that the car was a going thing. Now under the hood, this is not the right motor then? Huh? Correct. That is the 302 that was transplanted at some point, which when the seller asked his sister to list the car, she had some confusion, and that's why she listed the car as a 302 Cobra Jet, which obviously there was no such thing. I ended up contacting, we're being contacted by a gentleman named John in Maryland who has one of these cars restored, and he had recognized that they had also made white ones and that the DSL on this car is what would tell it as uh, being part of that promotion. Now, what was that car under that cover back in the corner of the shop? So tell us, what this, what's this car back here? Uh, back Let's here go. is my, the 1989 Mustang Coupe, five liter, five speed. So your basic five liter, five speed Coupe, 89? Um, I purchased this off of a, an original owner who was a uh, Ford employee. And he was connected with Ford Performance Club of America and all these 
different organizations. And he was told of this code that he was able to order that stripped everything off of the car. He weren't even able to get any options with it. And it was a 41X. So it, uh, it's taken some you know, investigative work to try to find out what's going on with, with even that code to try to find the, uh, the production number, stuff like that. The closest I've found is um, the 41C, which is the uh, competition prep uh, SVO, which is uh, a pretty neat car in and of itself. Um, and this one is, it's got 2,200 original miles. And uh, it pretty much does this all day, every day. I have, um, I have never even really driven this car. So this is a 41X. This is a 41X. So a 41X stripped off absolutely every single option. You weren't able to get any options. It even removed the free and standard options for the zone, such as the, the rear defrost. Cool. It, um, What's the body style? It's a coupe, uh, or notchback. It's uh, the other thing they like to call it. So it's, um, it's not even LX then, because there's no options, huh? Well, I believe they were. It was an LX. It had to be an LX to be a five liter. Yeah, it says LX on the back. But you'll notice roll up windows, no power locks, no power windows. Um, he actually told me he was upset with the fact that they made him take an AM FM radio at the time. So one of the things that happened with his car is it was never meant to be a low mileage car. Um, the previous owner, when he had it, started painting up some of the brackets, um, pulled the boot off because he liked to look at the distributor, and that's been some of the, the, the parts I've been looking to find. Whereas uh, I have them, but as we mentioned earlier, with the parts of the early cars, Ford by the 80s had a much better control of their inventory by the 80s. So finding new old stock parts for these later cars is actually far harder than the older cars. You can still find eBay's covered with you know new old stock parts for, for a 1965 Mustang, but something as simple as a positive battery cable on this car, you can't buy one, you can't find one, there's no correct reproduction. And the reason why is at some point, in the 90s, they changed vendors, and the parts that they had on the shelf that they controlled for inventory is a replacement part, but it's never been a correct replacement part okay, for Okay, but car. the long and short is that it's not all stock under the hood for little little nitpicking things. Yeah, there's there's it, the car needs a good thorough detailing, uh, which I intend to do at some point, but it's always been easier to just let it exist here rather right. than go through and... The things are the, what, the... Yeah, the water pump has been painted black, the power steering pump has been painted black, the tensioner was painted black. I was experimenting pulling this stuff off, checking it out, stripping the paint, and I found out he had sanded it. I purchased, I believe, all that stuff, new old stock. Uh, everything's in the trunk of the car. I've even found uh, new old stock oil filters. Um, so you'll, you'll detail that one of these days? Yeah, I'm making sure I'm buying everything I can find, like the original gray oil filters and the brackets. and. Just going through and finding, um, that's an original alternator that actually has the green GT stamp on it, which is um, something that you can't find reproduction. Well, this is, a, this is a perfect car for you to, to mess it with. It is. I, you know what? I'm not going to lie. I'm a little more partial to these Fox bodies. They, they definitely represent my generation yeah. more so than the, the 60s cars. I grew up with the 60s cars and the aspect that I had an older brother and we always had Mach 1s and Shelby's and Bosses at home. Um, and some of my fondest memories of going to school were actually, you know, faking being sick. So my brother would pick me up in his Boss 302 and take me home. Um, but these are the cars that represent my my youth and, and my going out and playing. And I'm sure you've seen some of the other Mustangs on the way in. Um, these are what I have the most of. I've owned probably a hundred of these cars over the last 20 years. Um, I generally have three or four of them at any given time. Uh, they, uh, it's, it's the muscle car of my generation.